Kiko, how are you doing? I'm still uh, chilling with David here. We've talked a lot about the pug. So right now we're going to talk um, about the Chihuahua. Yes, you people, Chihuahuas are not... This one is a white one, but the difference with those other things is that it's not fluffy. So I, I hope you take notes. The next time you see like a fluffy white little cute thing, you do not call it a chihuahua because this is the actual chihuahua. So have you subscribed yet? And also do not forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. I'm your girl Linda Kenyatta and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. And also do not forget that we have introduced a vet section. So if you have any queries regarding to the health of your dog you can always ask through our comments or you can dm us through our social media and that is at dog tv kenya so let's go talk a little bit more about the chihuahua hey david so introduce me to this cute thing here this is tommy stormy kiss kiss <laughs> <laughs> she's a very nice dog very beautiful she's my albino chihuahua very rare to get an albino chihuahua they're one of the rarest types of chihuahuas to you can get next to the teacup chihuahua. Mm -hmm. She's originally from Mexico. That's where chihuahuas are from. Mm -hmm. They were, they were, sorry, they were bred by the Aztecs and the Mayans, mm -hmm. mainly as a pet dog. They liked companion dogs. Mm -hmm. From there, the chihuahua actually came to Africa and Europe via ships and colonialists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are, they are very nice dog. They were considered a dog for wealthy people, mostly royalty people. Mm -hmm. But now since everyone can own one, mm -hmm. okay, not everyone, because they are slightly expensive, but uh, they're easy to maintain. Mm -hmm. They live long, highly intelligent, highly, highly loyal. Mm -hmm. They're awesome dogs. Okay. Now, let's talk. Now, the pug is sheds a lot. Yes. So what about the chihuahua? The chihuahua seasonal shedding once a year. And when it sheds, it doesn't shed a lot anymore. As you can see, even when I pull on her hair, mm -hmm. there's nothing coming off. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have a long coat. Mm -hmm. Although there are chihuahuas with long coats that are very fluffy, but they are mostly of a teacup variety. This very small chihuahua, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which are maybe the size of my puppies. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll see them in the video later on. Oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. they can actually fit in an actual teacup. <laughs> and they're very expensive, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, what has your experience been dealing with the Chihuahua? The Chihuahua has only one issue. Big dog fight in a small dog body, very aggressive, very protective. But that is not a problem if you love the dog as I do, because it's a very good trait in the dog. They don't get sick easily. They are very healthy dogs, very happy dogs. Maintenance is easy. Training is easy. They're just lovely dogs to be around. Yeah. Now, well, well, you you have them in the house. The, you have the pug, and then now you have a chihuahua. How do they interact? They interact well. Although they are highly protective of their young, they always protect what they love. Um, like Stormy now, she doesn't allow the pugs to go near her kids, but they manage well. They live well together. They enjoy their time together. Yeah. If with it being an aggressive kind of small dog is it a, does it get along with kids or if i am at a family setup how would i expect it to interact with the family this uh, is a very good family dog tends to protect the members of the family that they are around that they are used to although they us usually tend to pick one person who they love the most uh. but they will love everyone yeah, that is no issue. They won't bite anyone in the family, mm -hmm. but they will make sure they protect your kids always, always, always. They protect the children. Mm -hmm. They will love you. When you wake up, they will be in your face kissing you, mm -hmm. as you have seen with Stormy. Mm -hmm. They will always make you happy and smile. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about the energy levels when it comes to exercise? You've said you can't go for a long walk with a pug. What about a chihuahua? Well, a chihuahua, you can even go to space with a chihuahua. Very active, very strong, very agile. They always want to be with you. They will cry when you're not with them. They get extremely lonely when they're left alone. So they always want to be by your side. Whether you're walking for 100 kilometers, whether you're going for a swim, whether you're in your car, your chihuahua will always want to be by your side.
My name is Dr. Stephen Omari from Linden Vet Clinic. Today we are discussing about tick fever or ticks in dogs. So this is caused by what we call canis babesiosis. This is the causative agent in dogs. The symptoms that you see in a dog, you see a dog does not eat, it becomes skinny, it, it becomes pale. If you see, if you go check the mucous membrane, you will see it's pale or becomes white. And then another thing you see is uh, the urine becomes brown, the feces becomes stained with blood. And then uh, how do you control this condition? How do you prevent it from occurring? First, we have emphasized on cleanliness in dogs' cages, in dogs' kennels. Another thing that you check on, the dog should be washed every, every week so that you'll notice, if you notice a tick, then it, 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 it raises an alarm for you to wash using maybe a curry side or shampoo. Those ones will prevent ticks from occurring in your dogs. If you realized or you noticed later or late in uh, the stage, then you'll call a vet. Thank you. For the time that you've been dealing with the Chihuahua, have you, have, have you come across any kind of health challenges? Um, I haven't come across any major health challenge, just the usual dog uh, issues. Maybe she has a bit of diarrhea here and there. Maybe she's just moody, doesn't want to play, or she just is very hungry <laughs> but other than that i haven't seen any major health issues because i buy from proper breeders who don't do line breeding and that reduces a lot of the major issues in an animal yeah now you've mentioned uh, hang hunger which leads to my next question uh, how is its diet like uh, the most that you are eats in a day is maybe 500 grams which is not a lot that's half a kilo, and that is when they are being greedy <laughs> because uh, they eat in small, small servings and they eat small servings in a longer period because they're small dogs, they use a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. So they usually take like snacks, their meals are more like snacks than actual meals. Mm -hmm. They'll eat in the morning, leave some, eat at 10, leave another, eat at one, mm -hmm. periodically until they finish their food. Oh. Yeah, the, when I buy kibble, the 15 kilo kibble, it usually takes me about one and a half to two months to finish. Mm -hmm. So it's highly, highly effective in your pocket. Okay. Yeah, the only part that will be expensive is actually getting the pet. But after that, mm -hmm. you're good to go. Okay. Yeah. Now you've mentioned that getting the pet will be the tough. So if I am thinking of getting one, how can I jipanga? What's the average? Um, for an average chihuahua, most breeders, when you're buying one, they'll sell for you at 150,000. Mm -hmm. If you're taking a few, maybe you can discuss with your breeder. Mm -hmm. But for me, I usually do 100,000 if you're taking more than one puppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will not sell to you a male and a female puppy at the same time, mm -hmm. just to avoid line breeding. Mm -hmm. So if you want two females, I'll give you two females or two males mm -hmm. or one female or one male. But just to avoid line breeding, I'll not sell to you different sexes of the pet. Yeah. So let's say I decide I take a puppy home. What should I expect? Expect your puppy to be highly loving, highly loyal. It is also going to be very territorial. It will ensure that every seat that it sits on, it's his only. <laughs> it will ensure that you love only them and not any other animal. Although you will be able to have other animals, they are very accommodating. But they will be so jealous, they just want to be held. They want to be the center of attention in your house. Okay. They are also very, well, they have their own times of making weird things. You might find them in your bed, just sleeping like a human or coming to eat with you. Mm -hmm. So they'll just be the light of the room, the light of your life. They'll be awesome dogs to have around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also expect to train your dog well. Uh, just basic commands of where to take a piece, of where to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. 
yeah just basic things you just don't teach your dog to be snipping at everyone biting them to make them more friendly towards your family and your kids mm. and other pets that you may have because many people have cats maybe a bird in your house maybe other large dogs that may be totally aggressive and wild with the chihuahua mm. so just be aware that this is a highly territorial dog mm. it's like a compressed rottweiler in like a small body <laughs> it won't charge at you but it will most definitely protect its own oh, okay. yeah now advice to guys who are out there and they think they might want a companion dog a dog that they can stay with in the house what would you tell them um, i would advise you that the chihuahua is your best bet the chihuahua lives a really long time the longest a chihuahua can live is 20 to 25 years which is a really long time you can have your kids and your grandkids in that time it, it's a proper family member so it is a very good dog it's very loving you can never get bored the ch- well you you will not crash it will basically be your best friend because when you go to your seat and you miss your dog you'll be like ha ah, where you where you you just want to be with your dog it's infectious because what it does is it just creeps up in your life yeah it's just an awesome dog okay yeah I, I I hope if you're thinking of getting a companion dog you've taken some lessons at least you've introduced a new breed so actually I'm happy every time I meet a new breed I'm extra extra happy and that's an extra point for me so thank you for sticking with me and staying with me this far if you haven't subscribed kindly do so and also do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video i'm your girl linda kenyita and this is dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers if you'd want to partner with us kindly send us an email via kenya dog tv at gmail.com or you can always dm us at all our social media handles that is at dog tv kenya bye